any sign of them, Pinky? No. I think they got away. Yo, man, maybe you got to do your homework yourself this week. No. This is the nerdiest kids in the whole school. We'll find them. Let's go. What are you doing down there? Hiding. Well, I think it's safe to come out now. You know, try not to let those jerks push you around too much. Thanks. Okay, bye, Maddie. Bye, Todd. Oh. I can't believe Ellen saw us hiding like that. She's the best reading buddy I've ever had. Now she probably thinks I'm a total loser. How would Python and Griffin handle Pinky? They probably swoop in and pound on his two buddies and then force them to be nice to us. This is real life, Maddie. Not some comic book. Speaking of Python and Griffin, the new issue came out this week. Do you want to come to the comic shop with me, Todd? You know what? I think Python is tired of Griffin dragging his sorry butt down with him. See you around. being a nobody? You could be a hero. Send away now for the adventure of your life. Get your very own superpowers. This is no joke. Send one dollar for shipping and handling. Congratulations. You're about to become a hero. You are now known as Ratman. The mighty powers bestowed upon you will last for exactly one month. Use your powers wisely. Do good, not evil. Watch suit in cold water only. There's no way I'm putting this on. When wearing your Ratman suit, you will be endowed with super hearing, super strength, a super squeak, and a super stink. You'll tell on us? Maddie! We're going to it. What happened to our meeting today, huh? What happened to that? Now I'm going to show you what happens when you cancel on me. Oh, that smell. Did you fart? No! That was me. Uh, I mean, feel the wrath of my super stink. And what are you supposed to be? I'm Ratman. 
<laughs> okay, for a ball. Playtime's over. talk to me about Todd I saw it would be you There aren't a whole lot of other superheroes around here are you really supposed to be a rat? And you're the one who saved me from tanking those bullies a few weeks ago? I thought so. To tell you the truth, I don't think I'm cut out to be a sidekick. I don't want to die young. I have my whole life ahead of me as a comic book store manager. I just wanted to meet you and to say thank you. I hope you find a good sidekick. Let him go, Pinky, or else. Or else what, garbage breath? I've been planning my revenge for over a month. I know all your tricks. It's over, Pip Squeak. Speaking of squeak, squeak! Oh, crap. You're dead. Oh, oh, oh. 
<laughs> You'll pay for that, vermin. Todd? Him? Wait, Ratman was just some local nerd this whole time? Yeah, that's right. South Fork's biggest tough guy just got a wedgie from a 12-year-old chess-playing, comic book-reading geek. Oh, no. Rats. No one's ever gonna believe you. But they believe Ratman. I'm sure the newspaper will love an exclusive interview. You know what, Pinky? I'll let you off easy. I'll hang up the fur and quit being Ratman. And I won't tell anybody I kicked your butt twice. You guys have to stop picking on me and Maddie and everyone else at school. Fine. Good. Now get out of here before I change my mind. Wow, what's it like being a real life superhero? Uh, it's not all it's cracked up to be. You know, long hours, no pay, no psyche. <clears throat> My secret rat mirror, I presume? Uh, yeah, about that. It's sweet, Todd, and I'm really impressed by the way you handled those losers. You'll always be my favorite reading buddy. But really, you should get that suit dry cleaned. You know, guys, the new issue of Python and Griffin came out this week. Let's go. 